Everything Spider-Man related in the last two decades has been pure gold, and this is not up for debate. From Toby Spider-Man to Andrew Spider-Man, and yes, I like those Bruh. movies, to Tom Holland Spider-Man, and finally, these two games. I'm sure the comics were good too, I just don't really know a lot about them. There is clearly a reason why Marvel Spider-Man was Game of the Year in 2018, and today I'll get to find out why while earning the Platinum Trophy for myself. Well, time to become the friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. So it's asking me what difficulty I want to play on, there are no difficulty related trophies, but I'm still playing on Spectacular. Step 1 of Spider-Man's Platinum is just to complete the story. So I hopped right in, and right away I started having a lot of fun. Oh, they're just throwing us right into it, that is awesome. Oh yeah, this is awesome. A few minutes later. I honestly could do this for an hour, just swing around. Stop the cap. I can honestly do this for an hour, just swinging around. This is fun. The game starts you off with a tutorial mission, and this is the first taste of combat that you get into. These guys don't play. Okay, all right, not too difficult so far. You can tell by my face right here that I was pretty focused because I was close to dying. This is the first set of enemies in the game, and I am at 28 health already. Oh my god. And after that, I climbed up this elevator shaft, fought a bunch of dudes in this high rise, practiced my hardcore parkour, and got into my first boss fight. And I died. Bro, he just smacked me to death, literally. I did beat him on the next try, though, for my first trophy. Ooh, that's our first trophy of the game, Feet Fisk. Soon after that, we were back in free roam and we can explore New York City. What's nice about this is the wide open map that allows you to complete as many side collectibles as you want while you progress the story. Speaking of collectibles, here's my first collectible trophy. Oh, and by the way, I streamed parts of this game, link down below. Lost and found, five backpacks. Up next is an unmissable upgrade trophy. Feels faster, I do want that. Nice, the scientific method. After that, I worked on the story a little bit, got a few more trophies for collectibles and dodging enemies, and a miscellaneous trophy by just playing the game. There we go, ace the base. Another trophy, I think that's a story related trophy. Complete all objectives in a base, okay. That was optional. Keep an eye out. Cats out of the bag. Oh yeah, spider sense of, oh my God. Some of these clips won't have a face cam because I was just playing at night and ended up getting a trophy. I wasn't planning on it, it just happened. You really do get a couple trophies just swinging through the city in this game. There's really not that many story specific trophies. These are all the trophies that you'll get just playing through the story normally. Also shout out Insomniac for all the cool spider suits. And of course, after I say that, this next trophy is an unmissable story trophy. I do want to recognize Insomniac for the detail they put into these missions. This one is subtle, but I like that Spider-Man helped out by climbing the walls and ceiling instead of just walking through a clear building. They could have easily made it a clear building. Coincidentally, in the middle of this same mission, I wanted to change suits and we got a trophy for it. I got this next trophy while working on a side mission where we have to clear a warehouse of enemies that are called demons. Oh, I just got a trophy, Arachnophobia. Perform 75 stealth takedowns, okay, nice. I'm trying to avoid spoilers here, but our next story trophy. I wonder if, it's, does that mean it's a multiverse? Which is also the trophy for completing act one. Demons emerge. I also wanna take the time to say I appreciate everybody's comments so far on all my videos, including the comments that will be made on this one. Thank you. I don't normally do this, but shout out Marcel. He messaged me while I was recording. A couple of you guys have messaged me actually, so that's pretty cool. I try to answer messages. I can't add everybody though, but it'll get full eventually, but I, I do respond to the messages. Because I'm keeping spoilers to a minimum, the act two trophy came quick. The story just blew wide open. This is crazy. And we just got the six assemble for completing act two. I don't know how to feel right now. This is crazy. The next few trophies are related to the Taskmaster challenges. These are challenges that are scattered throughout the map. More collectibles pretty much, but they have you doing different things like defusing bombs or following drones. So close to perfection. Get yeah, a spectacular or better in a Taskmaster bomb challenge. Nice, short fuse. I was just doing the challenge. I didn't think I would do that. All right, I got him. So close to no ultimate. Oh, Spy Hunter. 
What's this? Get Spectacular or better in a Taskmaster drone challenge. Real quick, some more appreciation for this game. Just without any context, like what you see on the screen right now, it just looks so crazy and so cool. What time? Oh, man. And of course, our next trophy. I had to include some of these clips here. They just went above and beyond. I really did love this game. And then for some reason, we have this suit. Where'd my suit go? Back to the trophies, we have our next unmissable story trophy. The next story trophy was a pretty long boss battle with more crazy effects. So the game just warned me that I'm about to beat the game and this is my last chance to upgrade my gear. I'm very happy they did that. So I decided to come in here and look at what suits I can get, what upgrades I can get. So I'm going to get this suit right here just because I want to beat the game in the vintage comic book suit. I think that would be pretty cool. And I've had a habit of saving up skill points the whole game. Honestly, there's no reason why I just haven't really used them. So I'm just going to use them on these innovators over here. Get this last defender. I'm pretty sure there's a trophy to get every skill anyway. So I don't think it matters which one I get. And Honestly, I made it this far without really caring about what skills I get in the innovator tab over here. So I'm just going to get any of the innovator ones and, you know, keep it moving. You can't tell me this suit does not look cool right here from the comic books. I like it. I think I just got that vintage suit for no reason. A few moments later. Oh, and we just got the final trophy for completing Act 3 Endgame. With the main story complete, it was times for steps two and three, Mac markers and miscellaneous trophies, which might have ended up being longer than step one, all because of one trophy I'll mention later. So one of the collectibles and things to do around the city is getting all of these surveillance towers. To get the surveillance towers, you just kind of walk up to the towers on the map. And what it does is it actually clears up the map. So if you look in the bottom right corner, it's uh, blanked out. I don't know what's on the map. I don't know what buildings are there, what activities are nearby. But if I get this last tower right here, we should get a trophy. Uh, because it's the last tower I have left on the map. Amazing coverage. There we go. Pretty standard to uh, any open world game like this to kind of clear up the map. So another one of the collectibles in this game is these black cat stakeouts. Uh, they're kind of scattered throughout the map. And all you have to do is kind of actually just come up to the camera and look around and look for a black cat that the character black cat left behind for Spider-Man to find. You kind of see a glow and that's how you find it. And this is the last one. So I should get a trophy right about now in a few seconds. where they keep the Jade Tiger. It's worth a cool million. I've got to run my algorithm and find Felicia quick. Or maybe once I locate the hideout, I get a trophy. I think, I hope. Oh, she made us a suit. It's a pretty cool looking suit too. In a game, could it? And there we go. Cat prints for completing all the black cat challenges. The next collectible we are going to finish up is collecting some pigeons on a side quest. So there's only 12 in the game and this is the last one here. So you kind of just have to chase the pigeon around for a few seconds and then it lets you press the uh, R1 and L1 buttons and it lets you catch them. And this is our last one. It'll give us a trophy as soon as I catch up to it. This one's going pretty fast. A lot of these pigeons actually go pretty fast, which surprises me because we're literally Spider-Man and these pigeons are kind of outrunning us for a little bit. It's kind of funny. <laughs> That's besides the point. I should be able to get him in a few seconds here i think all right should be able to get him right now there we go boom got him 12 out of 12 pigeons pigeon hunter all right so one of the miscellaneous trophies in this game is to sit on top of or perch on top of avengers tower there's also a backpack up there and i'm cleaning up the backpacks collectibles next and i uh, figured i might as well get this done go on top of the tower perch on top of the tower here i think it's right here there we go, hero for hire. Okay, we're coming up on our final backpack. These backpacks are just hidden throughout the city that Spider-Man left around that contain memorabilia from his life and crimes and, and all that. So this is the final one. It should give us a trophy. Backpacker, nice. Uh, this one contained a, a pin, a Spidey Squad pin. The next up on our checklist is the landmarks, and this is our final landmark in the game. Basically, this side quest or this uh, collectible is running around the entire map and just taking pictures of landmarks throughout the city. I'm not really sure what this is, the bar with no name, but there we go. Sightseeing. Photograph all landmarks on the map. I like this one. This one is a lot of fun. You can kind of just uh, free fall, pull out your camera and take pictures of the landmarks. So it's, it's fun doing that. So there's a miscellaneous trophy to greet 10 people around the map. So you just walk up to them, press square. So I'm walking around just greeting them and there we go spider-man about town for this next trophy We have to come pay respects to Ben Parker's grave, which is right over here. I'm up to it hey, and Miss you. Let spider-man pay his respects and get a trophy proud. With great power
So throughout the game, there are different locations in each district called research stations. And this is the final one right here. These are basically stations that Harry Osborn has left behind for Spider-Man with fun little side quests. They serve as uh, fast travel points after you finish the side quests. Uh, you have to like swing through the city and cure birds and fish and collect specimens and things like that. It's pretty fun. I like them. So for this one, we have to link the research stations together. We do that by perching on top of the uh, radio towers here or satellite towers and you just aim it at the next one. And uh, yeah, it'd be pretty simple. All right. Now I just need to point at each of the towers and then I think I'm good. After pointing at each of these, this should be our final research station. This lightning was no joke. Let me tell you. I did it. And the spider spins there we go. This is pretty cool. The research We're on top of Oscorp. To Oscorp, Oscorp, Oscorp Tower? I think is what it's called. There we go. R&D. Complete all research stations. Nice. So right now I'm going around cleaning up each district on the map. So each district can have some of these uh, red icons on the map, which are different hideouts and bases and camps and outposts. As you guys can see right here, uh, each district can have up to two of each one of these, but not all of them have one. So some of them don't have any pr prisoner uh, camps or stable outposts. So I think Harlem has the most actually with five total that I have to complete. And basically you just have to fight enemies for a couple waves and then you complete it. There's some bonus options or bonus challenges you can do in each one for some extra XP and uh, tokens. There's also Taskmaster challenges and there is a trophy to beat Taskmaster so I have to work on that too and then there's crimes throughout the city there's four types of crimes and you have to complete five of each type which means there's 20 crimes we have to do in each district and that's pretty time consuming but we're gonna work on that right now too you get a trophy for completing your first district and then you get a trophy for completing every district you also get a trophy for completing all the camps all the outposts warehouses hideouts the Taskmaster challenges getting spectacular rating on the challenges so quite a bit of cleanup we need to do and then there's a couple more miscellaneous trophies as well I can do better. Oh, we just got a trophy. Fists of Fury gets spectacular better in a Taskmaster combat challenge. Nice. I wasn't even expecting that. Hey, not gonna lie. Oh, that was perfect. There we go, Ninja. Man, that took me like four tries to get that on the highest difficulty, or highest uh, reward rather, but we got it, Ninja. All right, so I'm in the last Tombstone mission and I'm fighting him. He has a series of side missions in this game where you're just trying to figure out where he's coming back from. I believe after this mission, we do get a trophy. There we go, Tombstone Takedown, defeat Tombstone. So I'm coming up on my final Sable Outpost. As soon as I complete this one, I should get a trophy. Oh nice, I just hit max level. That's awesome. Ooh, got my trophy, take down each Sable Outpost. Mercenary Tactics. So this trophy requires me to unlock every skill, and since I'm max level, I should be able to get every skill. That feels like that makes sense. I didn't really count my skill points, but here it goes. Last skill, collateral damage, and superior Spider-Man. Funny, I got this before completing all the outposts and bases and side missions. You get a lot of XP in this game, apparently. Ooh, I just got the Science for the Win trophy, Craft 15 upgrades. I was actually going for this. I just didn't know how many I had so far, but nice. All right, so this next trophy right here is to complete this final demon outpost. And after we do that, then we only have the prisoners left and I believe the Fisk outpost left. All right, in a few moments, I should be done here. Where is the final enemy? Oh, there he is. And there we go, Inner Sanctuary. All right, I just came up to the last Fisk warehouse. So I just need to clear this area here for a trophy. All right, this should be the last enemy before my trophy. Where'd he go? Right here. Oh. There we go. Should be my trophy right here. There we go. All the King's men. I like that trophy name. So this next trophy right here is for completing all the prisoner camps. This is the last one right here. So I'll skip to the trophy. We are coming up on the last enemy right here. So we should be getting our trophy in a moment. Back in the slammer. Take down each prisoner camp. So that makes all the outposts done. I just have to do side missions and all the crimes. Okay, so for this trophy, I think it's going to be two trophies. Actually, this is the last challenge from the Taskmaster. And there is a trophy to defeat the Taskmaster. So I feel like we're going to have to fight him after this. And we got it. So close to perfection. Challenge finder. Nice. Still got the middle spectacular ranking. It's been a few seconds from the last task clip. And he came out of nowhere and started fighting me. So I should have just let it run. There we go. Master of Masters. Defeat Taskmaster. So we are closing in the last few trophies here. Those are North... Bruh, 
I'm doing this side mission right here. I did not even check for a train. Okay, we are coming up on the final side mission in the game. The last few missions have been about saving some, some college students that were corrupted. All right, so these are the kids that we have to stop. I've been just running around impact webbing them to the walls, just a lot quicker than fighting uh, if I can. If I can't, then, you know, it is what it is, but there we go. Friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. That's for completing all side missions. And then schooled for completing all the corrupted student missions. Good to hear. Oh, we just got a trophy. Neighborhood watch. Complete all faction crimes in a district. Nice. I was focused on these uh, enemies here. I didn't realize we we're about to complete one. That's cool. So we have all the remaining districts left. That's literally it. Just the crimes across all the districts. So I'm just going to be swinging around, spamming my R3 stick and uh, fighting crime. Ooh, nice. Overdrive, complete 10 vehicle takedowns. I was going for that one too. I just didn't know how many we were at. So that's very nice. Only a few more trophies to go. So we are finally at the final crime. I completed 100% in every other district. This is our final district right here, Upper East Side. You guys see right here, 99% and we need one thug crime, which is actually the easiest type of crime. And to give you guys a little insight into this, I just swung around and then click my right stick to kind of scan the area. Eventually a crime shows up and then you go and solve it. And then my strategy here, just to try to make things as quick as possible is you from the air, you swing down, you take one out and then I kind of just use the impact webs on everybody. Um, just because it's a lot faster than fighting, if I can. Right there, I got hit because focusing on talking. But then I use the, the bombs as well. And I even use trip mines just to kind of get them out of the way faster. And then, like right now, we're almost done. Um, I just need to web him and actually not get hit this time while I'm talking to you guys, looking embarrassing. And then that's it. That was however many seconds that was. That crime is over. I heart Manhattan. There we go. That feels good. That feels good. Also got to let you guys know, I got scared for a second because I thought I wasn't recording. I don't know why. Usually I don't miss clips like this, but I just thought I wasn't recording and I kind of got scared. I'm not going to lie. So for this next trophy, we are back in Octavius Industries in his lab and he has 20 challenges for us to complete, I believe. Uh, 10 of two different types of challenges. And we also get tokens from this too. So a total of six tokens, which is nice because I still have to get those suits. So I'm going to go ahead and complete these and I'll show you guys how it looks. Basically, it's electricity challenges. So you've probably already seen this. Or if you play this game, you've seen this. So I have to complete these and then the spectrographs as well. All right, and here are the second set of tests. So these are the spectrograph tests, I believe is what they're called. And these are the ones you just line up the lines here. Like uh, now, the other 10, I got them done pretty quickly. The answers are on YouTube. Uh, you really don't need them, honestly. They're pretty easy. These, I think, are a little tougher. Maybe you disagree. I don't know. But I think these are a little tougher. So I may look up solutions, but I'm going to try them on my own first. And then we'll be back once I get the trophy. Okay, we are here at the end of this puzzle. It actually did take me a little while, but this should complete it here and give us our trophy. Octavius right. Industries. Looks right. Perfect. There we go. A bit of a fixer upper. I was I was wondering, like, where's my trophy? It took a little while to pop up. So for our second to last trophy, we need to unlock every suit in the game. There's only a few left that I don't have yet. You get this one right here, by the way, for unlocking everything 100% uh, or completing everything 100%. I don't even know why that's an option, but uh, I went ahead and unlocked almost everything. I don't know what these locked ones are for. I, I want to assume they're DLC, which we shouldn't need. So I'm going to go ahead and unlock this right here, which is a pretty cool suit, I must say. And then the last stand suit and we get a suit for all seasons. So for our final trophy, we need to chain four tricks in a row. Basically, you have to jump off a very high building. So I came to Avengers Tower right here just because I wanted to. Uh, really is no reason for this tower specifically, but to actually do this trophy. You do need a skill unlocked. So if we go over to our web singer skills, web slinger skills, you need the air tricks. All you have to do is hold triangle and circle while falling down. And before we do that and get our platinum, somebody did request that I rate the platinum before we actually get it in the video. So for my rating for this game, it's a very easy platinum. Honestly, I would give this maybe a three out of 10 difficulty just because if you play at the highest difficulty, some of the enemies the guns, like they, they get a little annoying sometimes. I will say again, this game is nearly a perfect experience. It's super enjoyable. I would say the crimes were a little over the top just because it's kind of tedious. You do the same crimes over and over and you have to do like maybe 200 or so, which kind of gets tedious if you leave them to the end, which is what I did. It took like an 
maybe five hours of just the crimes. Still highly recommend this game. And without further ado, let's jump off this building and just hold triangle and circle. We're actually just doing tricks. We're doing the same trick over and over. There we go, different tricks. Bruh. Okay, my bad, that was dumb of me. We need to actually chain four unique tricks in a row. So, <laughs> that's my bad. So that's, there we go, sticky and tricky. And we should get our platinum in a moment. There we go, be greater. And if you enjoyed and you want to see another video like this one, click on any video on the screen here.